Daily bread. Read, reflect, do, pray and think. 2. Credibility. Luke chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Read. Since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word, I too decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. Reflect The first Christians, or followers of Jesus, wrote in Greek, and so the Gospel of Luke is written in Greek. Luke's Gospel is a style of writing called narrative history. Okay, so that sounds a bit boring, but it simply means that Luke's telling us the history of Jesus in the way that you might tell a story. He's used his skill as a writer to arrange and link together all the different stories about Jesus. Today, we live in a media-saturated society where we don't really trust journalists or things we see or hear in the news. We know that stories can be spun and facts presented with bias. And headlines such as, man gives birth to cabbage, they don't help, do they? So given that we live in a world of media mistrust, how can we trust this guy, Luke? In his introduction, Luke tells us why he's writing his book. He claims that his research is thorough and that his words are trustworthy. He wants us to know that it's based on eyewitness accounts and is credible. But at the end of the day, it's just his word for it. Or is it? You see, countless people, including me, also claim that Luke's words are true. That something special happens when you encounter this person called Jesus. I suppose we can either choose to believe Luke or not. As a saying in English, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. In other words, maybe we won't be able to decide if Luke and his writing is credible until we've actually read his book. Do Right at the beginning of Luke's Gospel, open your heart and mind to God. This means making a conscious decision to allow God to speak into your life. Pray Holy God, As I engage with Luke's account of Jesus through the words of the gospel, help me understand what Luke is saying and apply the teaching of Jesus to my own life, this day and forever. Amen. Think In our modern Western culture, what makes someone or something credible? 